Aloha, friends and family. How are you guys doing today? I'm here at the hotel in Utah. We just got to Utah. We already went by and checked out Don Belknap's place. Dave Kaufman did a fantastic episode filming all these amazing garter snakes that I've never seen before in my life. But first, for those of you guys, first time tuning into the channel, every week we do three videos. Once a week, we don't edit them. We just do a little intro. <laughs> Dave, <laughs> Dave's ready. I wanted to do a little quick hotel room tour with you guys, but not of the hotel itself. I wanted to show you what I pack in my bag. Because usually I pack all kinds of stuff, camera gear. This is literally the only bag that I brought, which is actually crazy for me. As you guys know that have been watching the videos, you know I've been filming this entire trip on the cell phone, and I'm planning to bring you guys some amazing content, including herping out in the desert of Utah, going to check out other facilities, all the little adventures we do. And I want to show you what I'm, I'm very proud of myself with the small amount I packed. I got a pair of flip flops, I got some this, it's just socks and stuff, I got a toiletry bag. I got mic stands here because we're actually gonna be filming our podcast, Searchable as Reptiles, because Garrett is coming out, as you guys may well know. And so I've got microphones all in this bag too. We're gonna, a little audio recorder to get good quality stuff. We got little power, these things are, if you don't have a power squid, these things are incredible for plugging in one wall socket and being able to charge all kinds of stuff. Got that, some shirts, some clothes, a little gimbal thing for the phone so I can get you guys some nice super cinematic swirling shots throughout the, the desert of whatever herps we find and other cool stuff like that. Uh, a ball for my back to like rub the sore muscles out from all the herping and then that's basically it. I stole Hillary's hairbrush because mine's kind of broken. And literally, literally the rest of it is just clothes. And not that many clothes at that because it's packing light. Nothing even in here, nothing in there. Oh, microphone cables. It's like, it was a heavy bag, but I don't know. Dave, what do you think going to? You can't run away. I'm not running away. I've got schmutz on my phone and I need to clean it off. Schmutz, I tell you, schmutz. You got schmutz on your phone? Schmutz. I don't know what schmutz is. Leave a comment down below if you are aware of what schmutz is. I need to educate myself here about this Jewish stuff going on. What's not to like about the schmutz? What's not the, what, what? Huh? What? Huh? What'd you say? I this don't know. It's a very directional microphone. It Somebody else here. Schmutz gone, off phone, phone clean. <laughs> so, I did bring something special in my socks. Oh, you guys know. I actually, I go camping with these things. I don't leave home without these things very much. And that is oh, the beautiful Glen Cairn whiskey glass. I actually got myself some monkey shoulder right here in Utah. They got state liquor stores because, you know, it's Utah. And I've never tried this stuff before, but I heard about it from my buddy Lance Kirkman and his parents. And I did a little research on it on the plane on the way over. And lo and behold, they had a bottle. So I was like, well, I'm going to grab it. But, here's a lovely bathroom. I'm just kidding. What I would like to show you guys is some shots of the amazing garter snakes that we were filming. Uh, Dave was mostly filming, but I filmed on my phone as well. Some nice shots. There's beautiful garter snakes. Look here, right here. I'm gonna put them up. See, I don't have to cut, but I can still put little shots here of beautiful garter snakes. Look at this. I see it. Look at the tongues. Do you see it, Dave? Do you I see it? I see it. Do you see them? I see, oh, on my, oh, on, the, on, on my phone. Oh, you see, right here. Beautiful garter snakes. Look at the tongues on these garter snakes. I, that's one of the most fascinating things actually about garter snakes for me. I know I've been silly jumping in this video, but it's uncut. That's what we do on the uncut videos. There's no, because we know we're gonna get cut, so we gotta keep the energy going high, flash flowing. Hey, uh, speaking of uh, photos, you, look at that. Isn't that a beautiful mosaic of butterflies? Yeah, Dave, it's a beautiful mosaic of butterflies. I don't, we're trying to show snakes right now. But wait a minute, there's more. It's not sold in any store. This photo, was actually taken in the men's room at the Minneapolis airport. The men's room. <laughs> okay, back to the garter snakes that we were checking out. <laughs> so here we have uh, one garter snake and a, a second garter snake. And this super slow motion of this garter snake with fantastic tongue action going on on this thing. I, I don't know how this tongue stuff was so amazing, but it is. These garter snakes just have these long forks that flick out, and, and Don was full of information. He had so many different localities, so you guys definitely need to go check out 
to Dave's video on the garter snakes because we cover lots of information as well as the different localities and different morphs they've gone on. There's like some morph of garter snake that Don only had one in the entire or a pair, the, the only pair that exists in the country and possibly even North America and South America combined because there's probably not any garter snakes in South America, is there? No, 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 they don't go. Well, I don't think they get farther than Mexico. Garter snakes are taking over the world. And this video. More garter snake action. Look at that tongue flick. It, the, he had a fluorescent light in there. And when you do this super slow-mo shooting on the camera, or any super slow-mo, it's one thing you can tell is how slow the frame rates are is because the light is flashing. It's how you know that light doesn't actually just stay steady. You know, some light is faster, has slower wavelengths than others, and that's why you see this blinking happening in super slow-mo. If you watch sports, um, which haven't been happening recently, but if you if you watch them before, some of that super slow mo, even with that big crazy lighting they've got in stadiums, you can still see the flickering if they play that, like I don't know what frame rate they use, but it's super slow motion on some of that stuff. Very impressive. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass you guys off to Dave because I'm gonna pour myself a glass real quick, and, and Dave's gonna keep you guys. Here. Uh, What's up, guys? All right, so um, this is. Uh... <laughs> So, I don't know if Brian said this or not. I really wasn't paying much attention to what he was saying over there. But we just flew into Salt Lake City today. Uh, I flew in from Minneapolis. Brian, of course, from California. And this is really the first time that I have traveled since, well, Brian and I got back from Australia. Um, is this the first time you've been out of California since we got back from Australia? Yes, yes. This is my first time out of California since we got back from Australia, correct? 100%. Okay. So when we got back from Australia, we got all the way to Chicago. Some of you have probably heard this story. We got all the way from Brisbane to Chicago, landed in Chicago, only to find out that <sighs> Tinley was canceled. Total suckfulness. But anyway, uh, I went home to Minnesota. Brian went home to California. And this is the first time that we have traveled and seen each other since that fateful day. And I gotta say, it is really it's really awesome to kind of get out of the house again. We are being super careful. We are, I got tested. I tested positively negative, so that's good. Um, and, you know, I've got alcohol wipes. We've got our masks. We are being super careful. And, uh, alcohol drinks. Alcohol drinks, you know, absolutely. Like uh, some, you know, disinfectants that you ingest that does, in fact, kill corona. <laughs> but... Uh, no, it's really awesome to, you know, Brian and I travel, you know, to make videos. And when you can't travel to make those videos, you know, I know at least my, for myself, I'm like, oh boy, this channel is going to get stale pretty soon if I can't get out in the world. So it is really awesome to be out here into the world. Uh, and Utah is awesome. We're going to have a blast. So I, uh, and I got to say, Dave has actually I, done a lot less I, cutting like if you watch some of the other videos like the Canada trip in particular this guy like all of his bloopers that you saw on my channel like 27 takes of the same thing he's actually he's actually gotten better he's doing less takes it's kind of a bummer I was filming him yeah and I was trying to catch him in a blooper moment and he just nailed it and I was like no Dave we you know what after after five years of doing this I am finally right on the on the money, I guess this is sign language. Five uh, years? Yeah, my channel started five years ago. Five years ago? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, but you've been making videos for... Uh, well, I've been making reptile videos since the early 90s, but like long before there was YouTube. I may do a video on that, actually. But uh, for the first three years, I only uploaded once a month, if even that. I mean, I didn't upload... Slacker! Much. Total slacker. Um, and I think that actually hurt my channel because when you don't upload at least once a week, the algorithm says, okay, this isn't a, whatever, a serious channel. Because whatever. of slackage. Because of slackage. And, uh, and, and, and so I, I wonder if that actually hurt my channel. But now I have been uploading once a week at least for two straight years since I you know, rebranded the channel, which you, know, you do. Brian's going to rebrand his channel to just Brian Cusco. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, that's... Hey, Dave. Yeah. Guess what? What? Guess what? What? Chicken butt. Guess why? Chicken thigh. Guess how? Brown cow. Mm -hmm. Chicken cow. Chicken. We're on... It's chicken stuff. Oh, chicken. But, uh, guess when? 
chicken hen. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Pulled that right out of my egg maker. <laughs> I'm, I'm missing one. Oh, guess who? Chicken poo. <laughs> yes, dude. This is why we're friends. This is, that's exactly right. You got almost, you, you had like 60% uh, This correct. is what makes me smart. <laughs> oh man so we've, we've also already met up with clint here's a little clip of, of clint uh trying to steal some of dave's shots of the garter snakes right here really cool I'm stoked to be doing a little herping trip with these guys because just awesome dudes to hang out with and, and do stuff with and i'm i'm super stoked that's all happening and it's all coming to fruition because as you guys probably know i, I do enjoy traveling and i haven't been a whole lot of that recently but and that's okay because honestly i do I do miss the fam. It's it's nice. It gives you that like th that balance, that balance of having fun out with friends, doing things which technically this is work, but I've always been a big fan of trying to do things that are fun and still be able to call them work. Well, they say and I like this is like a uh uh spit it out, Davis. You were talking about me nailing it before. Well, here I am. Uh, no, this is like a motto. If you, seriously, if you love what you do, you will never work a day in your life. Who's that? I don't know. Get back to work, Dave. I got stuff to do over here. David Levinson caught 29 cotton mouths today. David Levinson caught 29 cotton mouths today. Congratulations, David Levinson. Dude. And congratulations on that mustache, too. It's phenomenal. What am I doing here with you in Utah when I could be in Missouri with David Levinson finding 29 cottonmouths? I don't know, Dave. Maybe it's time for you to go. It's time for us to go, too. I hope you guys are going to enjoy these videos we got coming up for you. They should be extremely amazing. And every other adjective that I could come up with that makes things sound even better than they're going to be. But once I edit them, like I did in this video... You just wait, folks. It's going to be... I can't wait. We're probably going to get security calls in the hotel because I'm being real loud right now. But this microphone doesn't pick up as, as well as I would like it to. So I have to shout into it. Shout. Shout. shout let it all out. out. These are, are the things I can I heard about. about. Come on. He caught 29 cotton mouths. <laughs> <laughs>